In the blackest of galaxies. Oh. In the darkest of nebulas. A tiny satellite was eaten by a black hole. Ah! But black holes don't. Objections. Ah! Asteroid, shut your craters. You getting on my nerves. Black holes scary. Black holes gonna eat us all. You think it's cool roaming around all on your own? Spoiler, it's not. And you think what you're doing is cool? Violating almost all known laws of physics space time? Is that cool? Why do you need so much matter? What do you mean why? Don't you know? I'm actually feeding three little rascals. Oh, galactic kittens! How cute! Yep, I collect food for these little ones. And they eat a lot. <laughs> oh look, it seems they woke up. Time to feed. Hey, what's going on? Why am I attracted to the void? <sighs> do you realize that it's not the void that's attracting you? What do you mean? There is nothing here. <sighs> Stop making noise. What's going on here? I should be the one asking you why I'm attracted to you and I can't even see you. Well, I better get started. This is Black Hole. It's one of the most mystical and mysterious phenomena in the universe. It is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. And although we can see black holes as dark spots in the starry sky, their story begins long before they were visible through a telescope. Okay, wait. I got that one. What am I supposed to do if it's such an unexplored and dangerous phenomena? Oh, wait a minute. Ahem. According to legend, the first mention of a black hole was in ancient China. In 140 AD, astronomer and mathematician Zhuangzi wrote about a black star that absorbs all light and prevents itself from being seen. He claimed that this star had such powerful gravity that it attracted even the light of other stars to itself. Only in 1916, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. But even after that, scientists couldn't find evidence of their existence, as they were too small and far from Earth. Finally, in 1971, astrophysicist John Wheeler proposed the term black hole to describe these mysterious objects. Since then, scientists around the world have been actively studying black holes and their properties. Today we know that black holes can be of different sizes, from a few solar masses to entire galaxies. They are formed as a result of catastrophic events such as a supernova explosion or the merger of two stars. Inside a black hole, the laws of physics change, time slows down and space warps to the point where nothing can leave it. I hope I've made myself clear. Yeah, I think I got it now. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells! Earth, what are you humming over there? Oh, sorry, just some stupid New Year song from my people. You? Your song? It's a celebration for, uh, darn. Well, for what? I'm curious too. Ah, uh, it's a celebration for another orbit of Earth around the sun. <laughs> well, well, celebration. Awesome. And what's the celebration for the orbit of the moon around you called? It's called... Uh, night. See? Even humans acknowledge my superiority! You know, if I had one New Year's wish, I'd wish for you to tone your heat down! Ho, ho, ho! What? No! Oh, come on! What? How? Oh, no! Am I? 
planet. Hello, guys. How you doing? Oh, hey there, handsome. You and you be here. Hmm. Well, it ain't that bad. I didn't know being a planet is so cool. Oh, wow, guys. Look at my surface. No more acid rains. I am a beauty. Guys? Guess who I just saw? So cool. Let's have a walk together. That's unbelievable, Earth. Everyone's so friendly out of a sudden. How did you predict this? <laughs> I hope your new moon wish will be even cooler. <laughs> Holy sh... Earth, why does Pluto scare me so much? I don't know. What's going on? Why are you afraid of him? Look at him. He's twitching. Huh. Yeah, he's always been like that. He's kind of a psycho. Yeah, you're right. He really is a psycho. Who is a psycho here? <laughs> me? I'm not crazy. You don't know much about me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> like that you're cold. Everyone knows that. Not just that. I'm offended. Let's meet here in a year. <sighs> Pluto, we won't be able to meet here in a year. It takes you 246 Earth years to orbit the sun. I'm amazed you even made it here now. Did you know that I... Did you what? Have a dwarf size? You're as big as me, but I'm not a planet. I am the only dwarf planet with an atmosphere. <laughs> I have moons unlike you, moon. And more moons than you have, Earth. Plus, I have a polar ice cap and a heart-shaped spot. <laughs> I'm adorable. Yep, very interesting. But I am the realm of eternal darkness and frost. Capable of conquering all your humans, Earth. Did you know that? My name is the name of your people's god! Did you know that? Now come here! Hey Venus, look what I've got. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but it looks interesting. Like if I press this, we all blow up. Where'd you get that? Some astronauts were flying from Earth again. They lost it. I'm thinking maybe I should press it. Or maybe better not to. No, I'm interested, so I'll push. Mars, are you stupid? Don't push it in case we blow up. I don't care, I'm fed up with you all. I'm pushing. What the? Where's everyone? What is this? Everyone's gone, you're the only one left. What a mess. Mars, I think we're in the past. How do you know that? Earth told me how we all came to be. And this is all similar to what he was saying. Oh, so we can make it so that those stupid planets never exist. <laughs> Mars, don't. Earth told me that if you move just one stone in the past, you can dramatically change the future. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm gonna move a rock so you all become as dumb as the moon and don't piss me off. <sighs> Mars, you fool! I told you not to touch anything. Why'd you do that? You pushed the button and played with the stones. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to me. Oh, why am I so fat? I'm already tired of all this crap. I want to be like Pluto, small, light, inconspicuous, and not crazy. Although I don't know, maybe it's a side effect of being small. Pluto and me are both small and they're real psychos. I must try to become smaller. <gasps> not you! What is that? Not only are you my neighbor, but now you're fighting! What are you doing? Oh Pluto, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do it. I just got tired of being so fat and decided to try to become as small as you. But it didn't work out. How did you become like this, Pluto? Neptune, are you stupid? I was born like this! That's it, leave me alone! Uh, holy shit, it worked! What the hell? This is any science! How did this happen? Well, I don't really care. Let's see what happens next. What's wrong with my voice? It became so nasty. Now I understand why Pluto is so crazy. Probably doesn't like his baby voice. What did you say? I'm not crazy, and my voice is fine. But you really look like a moron now. You're right, it doesn't suit me to be small. I don't get it. How do I become big again? I don't want to be that small. I have to do something about it. What did I do? How do I get my body back? Ah! Whew, everything seems okay.
hole. It's so dark in space. What would these pathetic planets do without me? I am after all the brightest star. And it's thanks to me that they can see anything at all. <clears throat> Son, I don't care whether you're shining or not. You seem hot, but you're useless. My temperature is minus 63 degrees. What a nonsense. You can't even heat our system properly. And although you're shining bright, your light doesn't have any effect. It's still so dark in space. Well, I don't know. Look how bright it is here, and now you're standing next to me. Aren't you hot? Can't you feel how hot I am? No, I don't. What an idiot. Haven't you heard me say that the temperature on me is minus 63 degrees? This is weird, but why so? I don't give a damn why. But now you're showing off that you're the best. You better stop or I'll kick your ass. Oh man, Mars is actually right. I'm hot and bright, but the space is still cold and dark. I have to find out why. And there is only one person who can answer my question. This is Earth. Let's visit him. Well, Moon, are you ready? Always ready. <laughs> Hooray, strike! <laughs> That's how it should be played. We're the real players. Hello, Earth. Hi, son. Can you stand next to us, please? I want to aim at the asteroids and throw the moon at them. And your light will help me a lot. <laughs> Actually, that's what I want to ask you about. About what? Well, why do I shine so bright but it's still so dark in space? Oh, that's a good question. Scientists have studied the Milky Galaxy and concluded that most of the light is blocked by clouds of gas and dust, which surround the stars and galaxies. That's why the light can't penetrate properly. So, there's a lot of light, but it's just being blocked? Well, yes, this is correct. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily it's not your fault. I think I'm stuck! Uh, come on, son, give me some lights. Let's rescue this fool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.